sleepers. Shout, shout out to sleepers. Hey, yo, Wack, I got a question Peace. for you, buddy. Um, what up, what and, up? And this trust, this trust, I got a question for you, Wack. What up? Um, what's up with this with this uh, interview with the with the Jim Jones and Big U situation? Because to me, bro, it seemed like Jim Jones got an end game. Like, he trying to say something without saying something. And then you got people on live saying at the end of this interview, a lot of people going to have to apologize to Jim Jones. So what you know about that? I don't know. You got to ask Jim Jones and Big U. I ain't got no, nothing to do with that interview. That poor. Yeah, you said boy whack out of that, man. My yeah, boy. I ain't got. Yeah, no, no, I ain't no. got. I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't what say the fuck like that like interview that, about? I wasn't saying like that. He ain't making interviews. Like, he had with every day. Yeah, I don't no, know what that interview no, about, bro. You got. We got to wait and see the interview. Right, Facts. My fact. son I mean, made money. My son hit working. He ain't, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, apologies only come from from weakness. Situations where motherfuckers is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, there's no. That's right. There's no, there's no element or no power, no human being or no man, right? As, even though people think so, that can make your fucking wrong right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. That's you know what I'm saying. That's you can right. You can do favors for, or you can pay these niggas off or pay them niggas off, and then yeah, they might ride around with you. But even even they know you're wrong, right? But they just it's whatever the situation is. The reason why they doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I've I've been in situations where I went to people's backyards, right, and it might be a problem going on because one of my people was dead wrong, but the power of the dollar got the people across the street to stand with him so he can get through there like he's right. So, you know, I don't know <clears throat> what the interviews. I do know Big Use Podcast is called Checking In, and um, it's kind of symbolic from what I see him doing because people always get offended and they take it wrong when niggas say check in when you come out here so you got a figure like big you landed in new york and it's kind of simple block for him representing like yo it's nothing wrong with checking in i'm i'm checking in with jim jones in new york as a crip you know what i'm saying so that's all i seen you know what i mean from big you side now what jim talking about or the rest of them talking about then you know that's yet to be seen you know what I'm saying? So Right, yeah, that's what I was I don't know. totally on the big uh, I mean not not big you, but totally on the Jim Jones situation on Jim Jones side. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, like, you know, he like, got a si- he got a situation going on right now that we all know about to where people talking about. So, you know, you never know what he talking about. Jim Jim in the history of music and had several situations he's been confronted with. This is just not the first one. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, yo. You know, so yeah, Yo, whack just, respectfully, uh, yo, can I say something? Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, go ahead, bro. I, I want to say something to Wack real quick too. Right, yeah, other than that, we have me. to wait. We have to wait and see, you know, really what it's about. But I know Big, that's his podcast. He wasn't, you know, it's he got a podcast called Checking In. So I think it was kind of symbolic for him representing a checking in. Don't mean no busted shit or no punk shit. Like everybody can check in when you go to a different place. What I seen on Big U side, but we, you know, we have to wait and see. Man, hey, did what? y'all see Jim Jones show all his teeth while he was with Big U? He all smiling. He looking all happy and shit. Like, look, look who I'm with. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> like what the man, fuck bro. is you smiling so hard I mean, for? I mean, what I will say, what I will say on Jim Jones' side is uh, Big U's been home uh, shit about 16, 17 years. I think he came home in 03, 04, something like that, right? What I will say is this, and this is if, if he's attempting to do something, nigga, in all these years you ain't never reached a big U. So if you if you reach it to him now, right, it's it's it says something. To me, all too. these years you ain't you ain't never reached. You ain't never you've been on your super blood shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, and that's cool, right? But you've never reached over there to 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 you know, that's like right. he said, when I come to your neighborhood, when I come to L.A., I want to come walk. Your neighborhood in 16, 17 years, Big U been home doing all he been doing, moving, doing all the shit he been doing. Big U been coming to New York. You ain't never reached to Big U for nothing. So Big if that is what you're doing, it really shows your hand that you you reach and you trying to camouflage some shit, which, you know, to Big mm-hmm. U's defense, as far as I'm concerned, he was just, you know, representing his podcast and checking in. You know what I mean? I would have thought, no, I would have thought what Jim Jones got all the homies on the west side, no problem, pull up, roll out the red carpet, and ain't no nah, thing when he got a big crit. with the homies. 
He fucks with the homies when he come out here. He's never reached to that side ever. He's never done that. So for him to do that right now, if that's, that's what he's suspect. doing on his side, it yeah, it, it look a little different on Big U side. I know what he's doing. He just he doing his podcast. His podcast called Checking In. So I land in New York. I'm Big U, nigga. I'm a I'm an OG from the West Coast of Crip. So, you know, I'm checking in with Jim Jones in Harlem, New York, and his block. So you saying Jim Jones trying to I would have expected Big, Jones, Jones, expect that big U to check in with another Crip, with Bobby or something. Why would he check in I mean, with a goofy ass blood nigga well, like you gotta remember, You got to remember, uh, and like I, I said on my side, right, whatever, Jim Jones is a, a rapper. He a nigga from Harlem, New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he is a figure out there. Right, so when it comes to the business side of uh, running a podcast, you know, you're gonna talk to motherfuckers that got controversy going on around them, you're gonna talk to somebody that compliments whatever you know, um, your platform is, right? So, I say that to say this we all looking at Jim like you suspect, nigga, you tell him, right? But it's the same shit with me when I do business with 6 9 it's business, it's that's that's business, I'm doing business in the building. I'm not walking through a neighborhood with him or nothing like that, but that is a representation of his podcast. He got to sit down with him. He got to question his dude. He got to, you know, uh, let him, you know, respond to whatever he's asking or whatever controversy is going on in the media. You know, people only want to talk to you or fuck with you if something's going on with you. Yeah, if but the if shit, shit ain't going on with you, don't nobody want to interview you. Don't nobody want to talk to you. You the just let me go over there. The, hey, so you saying, the, the, the shit you one did, bro, with 6 9 that was like, that was different, bro. Like, that was like a lab rat situation. Like, yo, you really out here? You told and you did all this? I got a, I got some questions, homie, because I ain't never seen some shit like this. But I right back if to I wouldn't have seen program. it myself, if I wouldn't have seen it myself, bro, if I wouldn't have seen it and continue <laughs> to see it, I wouldn't have believed that shit. Like, I would have thought he was capping, but uh -huh. that little nigga really, <laughs> that's really, really doing. You know, I, 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 oh, I advise him not to do it. You ain't got to have the police with you, but you need to keep something, somebody with you. But, you know, he on what he on. But, you know, we ought to wait to see what it's about. You know, on Big U side, I, I understand, you know, he's representing his platform and doing what he, he doing for his checking in, his podcast that's on World Star. Uh, but on Jim Jones' side, it's a little funny because <clears throat> all these years, draw has been on 17 years. You ain't never reached that way, ever. <laughs> What's up? You're rocking with the scene. And I'd like to welcome you to the hood.